last time I stood in this ring with a microphone in my hands, it was eight days after SummerSlam. Eight days after getting beaten by Brock Lesnar, eight days after he broke my arm for the second time in two months. I stood in this ring, I thought I might be done. And the thing was, the second that cast was off, I was back in the gym. And I was just waiting, waiting for a reason. Then I found myself sitting next to a hospital bed, looking at an old man who had just got done having hip surgery. Put aside the fact that his daughter, my wife, my kids sat crying at that bedside. I sat there with a smile inside because I just found my reason. The game! Triple H! And the fight is on! Triple H and Lesnar! Brock Lesnar, the ass kicker, the game is back and he's calling you out for WrestleMania! Triple H, the demon inside of it! So what's it gonna be, Brock? Are you gonna show up at WrestleMania? Are you gonna show up and fight? Or are you just gonna sit there and bleed? If and only if you sign this agreement to fight Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania, then I will tell you the stipulations we picked for you. If he wants to make Lesnar pay for all his sins, breaking Triple H's arm twice, breaking the arm of his best friend Shawn Michaels, putting his father-in-law, Mr. McMahon, in the hospital with hip replacement surgery, Triple H has to take this match, sign the contract, no matter what. Being the visionary that I am at WrestleMania, it's Brock Lesnar versus the game. And Triple H is blindfolded with your hands, triangles, shackled. Yeah. I want to make it really personal between the two of you. At WrestleMania, the winner of the match gets your wife, Stephanie. But since we're talking personally, we all know that wouldn't work because wouldn't it be more fitting if the loser gets Stephanie? Heyman, push the line. Go call your monster. And here comes Lesnar. Your match will be no countdown, no disqualification, no holds bar. Oh, yeah. Your career is on.